Good morning students. So unit number 20 breeding and biotechnology. So through these lessons the previous class we have studied about it more productions or more yield producing the new varieties which is face the demand of the food for the populations because the population is increasing every day so it is necessary to provide the food for the populations face the demand of the food for the populations that's the things we lost class we have studied there are two scientists we have studied so one is a doctor ms swaminathan so he is the father of indian green revolutions Norman Pollock he is the father of the green chemistry. Today we are going to study plant breeding for disease resistance. So we should know that what you mean by the plant breeding for disease resistance. So resistance is nothing something avoid or something protect from maybe if we take the plants the plants have the resistant means or disease resistant means the plants have the capacity to avoid or protect the plants from the disease so these are the things we are going to discuss today plant breeding for disease resistance plant disease or causes by pathogens like virus bacteria and fungi so we should know that is a pathogen what do you mean by the pathogen pathogen is nothing a organism which is a causes the disease so what are the organism it may be a virus or it may be a bacteria or fungi it avoid or it disturbed give more yield so it is necessary for us to prevent the plants from this type of the pathogen so we know that the plants always is affected by the virus bacteria fungi diseases so plant breeding for disease resistant is nothing the plants have the capacity to avoid or to protect the plants from virus or from bacteria or from fungi so look at this the plant cell we know that the structure of the plant cell so normally the plant cells have that is plants organ but here the plants organ not there so instead of the plant organs it's the bacteria and fungi are present so it will disturb there is uh, no chlorophyll there is no proper nucleus so it is, seems to be or it occupied by the virus or fungi so because of that look at that is the diagram so this is the plants so it is affected by the bacteria or it affected by the virus so the plant cells seems to be like this so what will happen it is disturbed to give more yield or it disturb the process of the photosynthesis so this affects the crop yield so which is affect the crop leaf the virus bacteria and fungi Hence, it is important to develop the disease resistant variety crop that that would increase the yield and reduce the use of fungicide and bacteria side. It is necessary for to prevent the plants from these diseases. We will use that is a fungicide or bacteria sites. So it is necessary for the plants protect from these the diseases so plant have the resistance or we have to choose the variety which have the resistant to diseases so if the plants have the resistant to the diseases it may avoid the use of the 
fungicide or bacteria sites it means we can avoid the or it avoid the chemical sites or chemical means that it will kill that virus or bacteria so once again see this is the plant cells so look at that see inside the plant cells the plants not have the proper manner with the cell organelles so you, sh you should know that is the plant breeding for disease resistance it means the plants have the resistance on the plants have the potential to avoid the certain type of the disease it means the plants have the potential or the new variety have the potential to avoid the disease so some of the disease resistance variety developed by plant breeding are given below so there are some examples is given there are many varieties are produced but here they have given certain wheat wheat kiri so it is resistant to the disease what are the resistance leaf and stick rust hill bent so this details later we are going to study and cauliflower posa sharba posa snowball k1 block rot and cowbe posa comal bacteria plate so if you choose this type of the variety himkiri or posa snowball so we can avoid from this type of the disease this variety how they are resistant to these diseases or if you are cultivating this type of the variety so we can avoid this type of the disease so this is the meaning of this because these type of the variety plants they have the resistant to disease so wheat himkiri so here this is the very good conditions of the wheat plants are present and this is the about to yield so the plants are is a very good conditions look at this so already i told no leaf and strip rest so this is the one so look at the leaf so cumber with this the leaf it is seems to be affected by the disease so what will happens it will disturb the photosynthesis if it will disturb the photosynthesis means it will disturb that chloroplast which is present in the leaf so what will happen it may not to do the proper photosynthesis if it may not to do the photosynthesis means what will happen the yield will be reduced or we may not get the expected yield so this variety himkiri so if you are cultivating this type of the wheat we can avoid this disease when you look at this the leaf it uh, seems to be like a rusted so when you look at that is a uh, uh, iron iron rusted so we know that is uh, what you mean by that so the leaf also seems to be like that so that's the way we called uh, rusted disease it means it uh, remove the chloroplast which is present in the leaf and disturb that is a photosynthesis if it is disturb the photosynthesis automatically it will reduce the yield so this is the purpose we have to avoid this type of the disease if you choose this type of the hill free so it uh, avoid the this type of the disease because they are resistant to the disease because they have the potential avoid from this type of the disease uh, automatically we will get the enough yield so next one is the cauliflower posa sharba posa snowball k1 so what's the disease is a block rot cauliflower so look at that is the how it is very nice so it is in white color and very healthy conditions as well as is a so pure 
so it is avoid that but uh, look at this the opposite side so this is the disease so some disease is affected this the cauliflower plants so what will happen so the proper growth of the cauliflower so block rust so it is not in a white color so rusted so you know that is a rusted because of the rusted it seems to be like a brown color so while we are choosing that is a posha sharbra posha snowball k1 so we can avoid such a disease or we can avoid the block rot disease why it is necessary to choose th this type of the variety because the plants have potential or have the capacity to avoid this type of the disease it is necessary for to select the variety so to avoid or the we have to choose the variety of the plants which have the resistant to the disease another one is a cow bee posa komal so look at that is the the third one is a so bacterial plate so, so what, what will happen so, so it is it seems to be like a proper very healthy conditions of the plants so this is the cow bee uh, look at this that after the disease is affected what will happen is that uh, how be it is not is a good conditions so we cannot is sell in the market it is no value because we cannot be able to cook such a, a cow bee so because of this uh, disease so we have to avoid so while we have to posa komal so we can avoid such a type of the disease which is a uh, help us to have more yield so next one is a uh, plant breeding for insects uh, pest resistance so not only that uh, virus bacteria and fungi pathogens but the outside the external some of the organism also disturb the plants so for example insects pest pest means is nothing there which is disturb the plants uh, look at these the pictures so this is the insects worms so worms what will do it will eat that the leaf so if it is eat the plants means what will happen so the plants may not grow very good conditions so automatically it will reduce the yield so look at this there the insect is uh, eat all the chloroplast all the plant cells which is present in the leaf what will happen only the empty leaves only the veins are present there so here another worms so it's a similar close to the color of the leaf so we may not is identify that we may not is a different shade so what will happen it will leave it will eat that all the leaf so what happens so look at the down so this leaf is already is finished so another leaf is it is eating so what will happen there is no leaf it means so this also how the disturb it means the in, the insects and pest also disturb so if the plants have the capacity so what will happen they we avoid the such a type of the insects are affected so in addition to microorganism a large number of the insects and pesticides cause damage to crops hence insects and pest resistant crop variety were developed so look at this there these insects is a disturb if the plants have the capacity to protect these type of the insects you may know that all the insects do not eat all the plants certain type of the pest or certain type of the insect is a choose their particular species of the plants it means the insects is need some type of the protein or some type of the necessary nutrients from the certain 
plants so if the plants how or if we remove the certain type of the protein from the plants automatically the insects may not to eat so this is the conditions the pesticides or uh, so this is the conditions the uh, pest and insects resistance crop were developed so there are some of the plants is given prasica posha crorava abets black beans pusa sem2 pusa sem3 leaf hoppers abets and fruit porer lady's finger pusha swamini a1 shoot and fruits porer pusha swamini so these are the things later we are going to study that these some type of the insects so we may know that is a, a bits so uh, small small insects so some of the leaf back sides we can find such a insects which is disturbed or which is suck the plant liquid which may not a proper explosion of the nutrition to the plants so look at this the another side is the insects is a disturb that so it shock that is a plant liquids what will happens so if you choose certain type of the plants variety so the plants have the resistance from the insects and pest so we can avoid such a small insects it may be help to get more yield so ladies finger so here also look at this the small small insects are there so which is disturbed so we you may not see that is a healthy plants if these insects are present so look at this the the ladies finger it's not very good conditions because the insects is suck all the nutrition from this leaf it not help the uh, fruits or it may not help the vegetable is in the healthy conditions so it disturb the whole growth of the plants so what will happen it will disturb that all the plants wherever the insects are present so it uh, disturb means we have to choose the certain variety which help or which have the insects uh, resistance to the insects or pests leaf hoppers so look at this the uh, so it will shock that a plants liquids so fruits porers so this is the these uh, three are the fruits porers so look at that this is the fruits so so we may not uh, we may know that so probably is a brinjal whenever we cut that is uh, we can found this type of the worm it will collapse or it will eat the whatever presents inside the fruits so it may lead us not to cook not only that it will disturb that is a high yield or the quality fruits so here this is the another one this is also is a fruits parrots so it will shock that uh, so this is a shoot parrots so what will happens uh, this is the brinjal so look at the stem so inside the stem there is a worm sort presence what will happens it will eat the all the plant tissues which is presence inside the stem so what will happen it uh, may not get the proper nutrition or it may not have uh, supply the plant uh, nutrition so automatically it will die so look here so this is a inside so for reference they will break so look at this the worms are presence what happens the growth is uh, stunted or the growth is uh, stopped here no more growth so automatically what will happens we may not get the proper yield so this is another things also we should know that so these worms are present inside the stems so if you do pesticides you may not kill this type of the worm because it is present inside the stems so this is a very dangerous for the plants 
so if you choose such a, a variety which is avoid this uh, shoot and uh, fruit sparrow we get more yield so this is we called or the plants we call resistant to the insects and pesticides or they have the capacity to avoid such a worms which is disturb the plants so study explain the breeding for disease disease resistance and uh, breeding for the insects and pest uh, resistance with the example so explain the breeding for the disease resistance the first we have studies that the resistance uh, how that the varieties that we have to write the with the examples the another things also breeding for the insects insects and pest resistance with the examples so totally you have to write all the details so you have to write this the tabular column with the example then you have to explain so what is the resistant to the insects and you have to write this tabular column and you have to explain these the things this is the one of the important questions it may ask us a two mark questions sometimes they may ask us a, a four mark questions separately sometimes they may ask us a seven mark questions also